Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 23 video. Today we're going to be covering some of the best icons that you can get for less than 300,000 coins. Bear in mind, obviously, this video is being done in late October. So, of course, the icon market and the market uh, in general will change over the coming months. So, uh, obviously, pay attention to when I'm doing this video. If you're watching this video in, like, May, then all these cards are probably going to less than 150,000 coins, I would have thought. But uh, I've been using a few icons now um, over the past few weeks. And the, these are five that I've put into this video that I think are great value for money for their price uh, you know icons seem to be a lot more affordable now uh, compared to previous years i mean crespo is one of the five best icons that i think i've used for less than 300 coins and this is a mid-tier crespo card and in previous years around about this time of the year only like a month or so into the game would be double that price in years gone by so it's great to see that a lot of them are becoming more affordable uh year on year uh, obviously you know a few icons removed this year maradona uh, deco um, over Mars, uh, gigs and stuff like that. A few of them you can't, you don't really care for too much. A few of them, obviously, in the likes of Maradona, it's a real shame that they're not in the game. Um, but yeah, there are plenty of really good ones for under 300,000 coins that are extremely affordable. That are fantastic to use in game. Crespo is one of those. He is superb year on year on year. And what I might do is, uh, I don't know, maybe for some of these best ones, I might go and. Uh, because I have got more highlights of them. I just didn't want to make the video too long. I could maybe go and do uh, individual player reviews of all these five cards. And then kind of give a bit more of a review. This is kind of just kind of giving a bit of an overview of them. But uh, yeah, he was great. I mean, dribbling, finishing, uh, even his passing. I mean, look at that little um, pass there over to uh, Paqueta who uh, runs half the length of the pitch. and has a great finish. But uh, yeah, Crest was a fantastic card in this game. Very much on the higher end, I think. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for him on the higher end towards 300,000 coins, but uh, nonetheless, yeah, a, a, a great card. Uh, then we've got Ashley Cole, who I actually packed in my uh, base icon pack from a few weeks ago now. Really fun card to be able to use. Uh, got a few assists for me. His pace is fantastic down that left-hand side. Uh, you know, his passing is also really good. I mean, his short passing, pretty decent crossing likewise as well. Uh, and even his defending, again, really high defensive awareness, stand, tackle, slide, tackle, which is also pretty good. Physicality, maybe not necessarily, the, you know, the best, and it doesn't really carry anything in terms of player traits, but most fullbacks don't really tend to, to have anything there in general. But uh, yeah, you know, he'd push up the field really nicely. And his work rates felt fine for me in game. He felt really, really comfortable in the morning. I mean, that, you know, that pass there through to Haaland, who, to be fair, I mean, still has a bit of work to go and, you know, finishes it really, really well. But it was the way that he was providing chances, you know, game on game. And his through balls were just super. I mean, there's like the past two clips have just shown two really good through balls by him. So, you know, him and Haaland in particular linked up very well. But he was just so fun just to go down the left-hand side. It was like the opposition just couldn't really deal with him. And uh, the past three clips that you've seen have all been assists to uh, to Haaland. So, uh, yeah, I think definitely better from an attacking perspective than defensively-wise. Uh, he'd be great in a five-back formation. I don't think you can use him in any other position apart from a left wing-back or left-back, which is a bit of a shame. But... Um, yeah, I mean, for, for what he costs, he is a really good player to have. Uh, 85, Laurent Blanc. And the one annoying thing about this card is I would really want to use him as a centre midfielder, but you can't. You can either only use him as a cam or a centre-back. He does technically work as a centre-back. With a shadow cam style, he'd be a very good centre-back. And um, with no defensive cam style, he's a very average centre-back. In that, yes, he's got the pace already, which is good. And he's got the good passing. But his defending and physicality are extremely average for a centre-back. If you had the shadow cam style, it probably takes his physicality and defending into the mid-80s. Where he'd be good, but... And obviously, he already has the really good height at six foot four. But I think this card is just... I, I don't know what it is. I've used him for a few years in the past now. And a lot of people I, I've often tended to see don't really tend to go by this card too much. You kind of tend to disregard him because of the fact that his other two cards, um, you know, his base and... Um, sorry, his mid and, uh, and his prime are, are, are just defensive cards. But he is so fun to use as a cam. His dribbling is extremely good. His finishing, his passing. He's an all-round great player. And if you could use him as a centre midfielder in a full box-to-box -box role where you get the benefits of not just his attack and play, but then also a bit of his defensive plan, he's like a really good box-to-box -box midfielder. I genuinely think he's double the money in value. 100% if you could play him as a centre mid. Because realistically, that is the position where... He would be best utilized as good as he is to use as a cam. You don't really get the benefit of them being able to utilize his decent defensive stats that you would get the benefits of. Using him as a sentiment for that, you get the benefits of all his plight that he possesses. So, um, a hundred percent, he'd be double the uh, the money if he was kind of um, if, if if you could actually play him as a sentiment on full chemistry. Uh, Torres, we move into now the uh, the eighty five rated base Torres. I forgot to record the. Uh, 
the kind of intro part to this one had already sold and by that point so that's my bad but uh again another really fun card uh i i think i've used him uh, last year and i wasn't a massive fan of him but this year he seems to be pretty good to use linked up well on that team with a bummy yang and uh, and Haaland. provided a few uh, nice assists as well a good little through ball there to Haaland, who by the way is a 90 rated card that he got uh, earlier on this week is ridiculous ridiculously good uh the annoying thing is though they upgraded his defending by plus two which i thought was a bit stingy i was hoping they were going to upgrade his dribbling by two it was his passing and his defending defending was such a bad upgrade to give a two plus to him but even so he's uh He's phenomenal. Torres is also really good. And uh, then we come into, I believe it's the final one now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. And this is a card where I just, I love what they have done with the position uh, changes this year. Because last year for this base one, he was a waste. You could only play him as a left midfielder. And that was it. And he was wasted there because he didn't possess good pace. And, um, you know, his passing wasn't necessarily the best. And it was just a card that was not suited to being on the left-hand side of position. However... Being this year where you can actually play it as an alternative position as a centre mid, he is fantastic. He's got a really good pace for that solid midfield position. His passing, his shooting, his dribbling, uh, you know, even his physicality and defensive stats aren't too bad either. They're good enough for a centre mid position, at least in my personal opinion. And on the whole, it was just a really fun card to be able to use. And it's a card that, if he had been continued, if he kept the same position system as last year, I wouldn't be using this card. And he'd be probably half in price of what he is now. So... He is uh, one of the cards that has seen a real benefit this year to the position modifiers and actually makes him usable. So uh, he is really good. But uh, as you can see here, that is the uh, the end and all the five uh, icons there. All these five, I can make a very good case for you to be able to use in this game. I don't know what's going to go on with their prices. Who knows? Potentially, these could go on to get SBCs within the game. We've now got, I think, four or five icon SBCs. Two came out today in uh, in mid uh, right cards and, uh, and base Nedved. So... You know, could they be included as icon swap rewards potentially when that comes around? Yeah, listen, who knows? I'm not too sure. But um, all of them, really fun to be able to use. And, I, and all, I, I think, possess good value for money at the same time. So I could understand anyone wanting to go and uh, put these into your teams. I certainly had a lot of fun with them anyway. But anyway, guys, that'll finish this video. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all later.